Uh, just broke the news there that notorious prisoner Charles Bronson has been denied parole. Not very surprising news, really, but uh, Holly Hudson's here to talk us through what's actually happened. Holly, hi. Hi, hi Mike. Yes, yeah, so Charles Bronson's bid for freedom has not been successful. Yeah, again. Again. Right. This was his eighth attempt, and the panel, the parole hearing, were widely expected to dismiss his bid, not least because the psychologist called by the criminal himself mm. suggested uh, that he needs or should still stay and remain right. inside. Now, the parole board have said in a statement today that he will not be released. Uh, they concluded he lacks the skills to manage his risk of future violence and also denied him a transfer mm. to an open prison because at least he was hoping his secondary plea was that his restrictions were relaxed. Now he is, you rem remember, in under some of the most strict yes. conditions in prison. He's only allowed to leave his cell for 90 minutes. He's under close supervision with just 10 inmates and that is of course because of his previous yes. pattern of repeating attacks on prison staff and inmates 17 convictions in yeah. total and he's bar a few stints of freedom since 1974 not been released and has remained behind bars right because it says here he's had 11 different hostage taking situations yes. in prison nine different sieges and in fact i think to, I, when he was actually sitting at the parole hearing i think it was maybe last month um or early part of march he was quite flippant, wasn't he, to, 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 to some of the things that he said. And one of the, he was asked about a particular instance, I think, where he took the, one of the, 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 the governors of the prison hostage and he said, oh, there's nothing I like better than to have a governor trussed up like a turkey or something like that, you know. Um, and he was quite flippant about the whole process. He said, well, you know, I don't really care how long it takes. I've been in prison a long time. And he's quite, a, I mean, he's a character without wishing to give him any kind of glamour. He is a character, isn't he? Certainly is, yes. I mean, he's, of course, dubbed Britain's most notorious yeah. prisoner and previously most violent right. prisoner. Uh, and he's, as I say, 17 convictions, a pattern of violence, protests and hostage situations. As you mentioned there, he spent time in broad, more secure facilities, held a total of 11 people hostage in nine different sieges and jails, some at knife point. Mm. And as you mentioned there, the public parole hearing uh, earlier this month was his eighth parole hearing. Right. The first one, though, where we actually saw him appear via video link and actually heard him, saw him for the mm. first time. And yes, he made some quite remarkable statements yeah. and a lot of people felt that he didn't really show enough remorse. No, it didn't look like he was going to get let out really, did it? Particularly, as you I know, mentioned. When you start making fun of the parole board. Yes, and mm. some of the things he said, you know, he insists he's a changed man. Uh, in a voice note that he released last night, and you know, he does regularly contact yes. the media from inside, mm. doesn't he? In a, in a voice note last night, uh, he didn't seem hopeful that he was going to be released, but he did say uh, that he's no longer a danger to society, he's no longer a violent man, he's not a filthy terrorist or rapist or murderer, so who am I a danger to? Says he hated violence and he loves people and he wants to be free to work on his art. Now he claims he's a born again artist. Yes. Uh, hoping that, that his art exhibition would boost his bid for freedom uh, with the parole board. He actually handed out his artwork during the parole hearing to members mm. of the board, but clearly they haven't been persuaded that he isn't a danger to society. Well, I suspect the world is a slightly safer place for not letting him out, but maybe they should take a leaf out of that book and maybe not let so many other people out as well while they're at it. But thank you, Holly Hudson there, uh, with the latest on Charles Bronson, who once again will not be released on parole uh, from prison where he's been for most of the last 48 years.